Well, oh, yes, it is time I began my work indeed, Mr. Fenner. Oh, to tell the truth, I have just begun when I ought to be giving it up. Ooh, oh, never say Mrs. that, Miss Hepzibah. You'll be a young woman yet. <laughs> oh, it seems such a short while since I used to see you playing about the door of the old house, quite a small child. Oh, and your grandfather, oh, in his red cloak and white wig and cocked hat, stepping so grandly up the street. Oh, those old gentlemen who grew up before the revolution, they used to put on such grand airs. <laughs> oh, I, I saw your cousin, the judge, ten minutes ago. <laughs> the judge raised his hat to me, I do believe. Well, at any rate, the judge bowed and smiled. Yes, my cousin, Judge Jeffrey Pynchon, has thought to have a very pleasant smile. So he has. Uh, but, um, Miss Hepzibah, now, if an old man may be so bold to ask, why don't the judge, with his great means, step forward and tell his cousin to shut up her little shop at once. Oh, it's for your credit to be doing something, but it is not for the judge's credit to let you. If I choose to earn bread for myself, it is no fault of Judge Pynchon's. <laughs> Neither will he deserve the blame if, by and by, I find it convenient to retire with you to your farm. Oh, well, it's no bad place either, that farm of mine. Oh, it's no bad place for those that find a good many old cronies. It will be my case. <laughs> uh, when, uh, when do you expect him home? Whom do you mean? We don't love to talk about it. Well, we'll say no more. Well, there is word of it all over town. <laughs>